Hello students. So today is our eighth lecture, which is based on numerical on Kirchhoff's equation. So now let us start with the numericals. So our first numerical is calculate the heat of formation of H two O liquid at three hundred and eighty three Kelvin if delta H for the reaction at two ninety eight Kelvin is minus two hundred and ninety eight point zero six kilojoule. The average value of heat capacity between the temperature for H two gas, O two gas, and H two O liquid are twenty seven point six one, twenty nine point five zero, and seventy five point three one joule per Kelvin per mole respectively. So here the reaction is given to us. H two gas reacts with half mole of O two gas to give one mole of H two. Okay. So here what we will do? We will write the given things. So here given is T two. That is three hundred and eighty three Kelvin. Okay. After that there is given T one. That is two ninety eight. Kelvin, okay. After that, delta H one is given. Why H one? T one two ninety eight is there, and for two ninety eight, delta H for the reaction is minus two ninety eight point zero six kilo joule, okay. After that, what is given? Heat capacities are given. So heat capacity C P. Of H two is equal to twenty seven point six one joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay. After that, C P for O is equal to twenty nine point five zero joule per Kelvin per mole. And after that, Cp for H two O is equal to seventy five point three one joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay, so these are all the given things. So now, what we have to find? We have to find the heat of formation of H two O, that is delta H two, at three hundred and eighty three Kelvin. So we know that, according to the Kirchhoff's equation, delta H two minus delta H one upon T two minus T one is equal to delta C P. Okay, or the other equation, delta H two equal to delta H one. Delta C to T two minus T one. Okay. Now we form. For this, first know the value of delta C. So we find the value. So now delta C P according to our equation, C P D plus C P D. Here was the under the react. Similarly, here what is C P of O minus C P of here there are two reactants, so we add them. C P H two. Have to multiply by the stoichiometric coefficient Cp of O2. Okay. So now putting the value C of O is equal seventy five point three one minus Cp of O minus T seven point six one plus half into Cp of O2 that is twenty nine point Five zero. Okay. So now seventy five point three one minus twenty seven point six one plus this can be equal fourteen point seven five. Whole calculation comes to be thirty two point nine five per Kelvin per mole. Okay, so now this is the value of delta C P. 
okay but here you have to observe that this comes in a joule and our delta h is given in a kilojoule so we have to convert this unit in the one form so now we convert this joule to kilojoule so how to cut so 32.95 what i will do here multiply by 10 raised to minus 3 into 10 raised to plus 3 joule per kelvin per mole as it is okay so now 32.95 into 10 raised to minus 3 and instead of writing 10 raised to plus 3 we can write kilo kilo joule per kelvin per mole so this is the value of delta cp okay so now we have got the value of delta cp which is equal to 32.95 into 10 raised to minus 3 kilo joule per kelvin per mole so now putting the value in the formula of delta h2 so delta h1 is given to us and that is equal to minus 298.06 plus now delta cp is 32.95 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay and now t2 is 383 minus 298 okay so now doing this calculation minus 298.6 plus 32.95 into 10 raised to minus 3 and this subtraction is equal to 85 okay so now minus 298.06 plus this multiplication comes to be equal to 2800 7 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 here addition or subtraction directly is not possible why because there is a 10 raised to power in this so we have to merge this power into the number okay so there is 10 raised to minus 3 so we will shift this decimal to left by 3 units okay so minus 298.06 plus shifting with 2.75 and doing this calculation here minus becomes minus that means we have to do subtraction sign of the bigger number so this calculation comes to be 295.26 joule okay so delta h2 or delta h for the reaction at 298 Kelvin is equal to minus 295.26 kilo joule. Okay. The next numerical is calculate the heat of formation of HCl at 348 Kelvin from the following data. Half H2 gas plus half Cl2 gas react with each other to give 1 mole of HCl. And delta H at 298 Kelvin 
is equal to minus nine ninety two thousand and three hundred joule. Okay, the mean heat capacity over this temperature range are H two for H two gas. Cp is equal to twenty eight point fifty three joule per kelvin per mole. For Cl two gas, Cp is equal to thirty two point two six joule per kelvin per mole. And for HCl gas, Cp is equal to twenty eight point four nine. Joule per Kelvin per mole. So now you can write the given things. So given things are directly there in the question. So we will start from the T one. So here T one is equal to two ninety eight. Okay, and after that T two. Is equal to three hundred and forty-eight. Delta H one is equal to minus ninety-two thousand and three hundred joule. Okay. So here again we have to find the delta C P. So here we can write directly that C P of Cl minus half into half into Cp of H two plus half into Cp of Cl two. Okay. So now by putting the values for HCl, Cp is twenty eight point four nine minus half Cp of H two is equal to twenty eight point five three, where as half into Cp of Cl two, which is equal to thirty two point two six. So now by calculating then twenty eight point four nine minus fourteen point fourteen point two six five plus sixteen point one three. This whole calculation comes to be equal to minus one point. Nine zero five unit will be joule Kelvin per mole. Okay, this is the value of delta C P. Okay, so now we have got the value of delta C P. We know that delta H two is equal to delta H one plus delta C P. Into T two minus T one. Okay, so now putting the values, so delta H one is equal to minus ninety two thousand three hundred plus delta C P is minus one point nine zero five. T two is equal to three hundred and forty eight minus T one is equal to two ninety eight. Okay, so now minus ninety two thousand three hundred minus this whole calculation comes to be ninety five point five. Okay, which is equal to ninety two thousand three hundred and ninety five point five. Okay, this minus minus becomes plus. That means we have to do the addition and sign of the bigger number. So delta H two for this is equal to minus ninety two thousand three hundred ninety five point five joule. The last numerical is. 
कंसिडर द रिएक्शन एच टू ओ गैस गिवस एच टू प्लस ओ टू सो डेल्टा एच फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड एटी कैलरी एट एटीन डिग्री सेल्शियस वॉट वुड बी delta h nod at 25 degree celsius the c values are given p of h2 is 8.0 cp of h2 is equal to 6.8 and cp of o is equal to 20 7.6 calorie per degree per so this is for all the cp value so here cp values given calorie per per mole that calorie is so it is a unit of heat energy so here what we will do here the temperature is t equal to 25 degree celsius it expresses degree celsius okay here t is equal to 18 degree celsius then 1 is equal to H so to find that first we need to find the C okay so here delta C of H two into C of numerical what you have to remember that you have to the units 